Hello everyone. I am so excited to be here with you guys today because we are going to be unboxing the new Munchkin to Lux Harry Potter game. Like, I really like the sleeve on this. This actually comes off here. This is really cute, but um, it also prevented me from actually like undoing the plastic and stuff beforehand, so I apologize in advance for that, okay? <laughs> so, of course, join in the comments. We got lots of comments going and stuff. I want to know what everybody's favorite house is. Also, USopoly is, and I just saw this pop up, they're running a giveaway as well for the bookmarks for this, which are going to have cheats in them and stuff, which is super exciting as well. I know, I didn't, I didn't ensleeve it just yet, Dr. Glory Hog. <laughs> nope, it should be coming out um, at the end of this month sometime. It, it's going to be this month, I believe. So hopefully I can get this box sleeve off here. And then we'll take this, this to the table. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to have to cut it. I'm sorry, guys. Got my trusty scissors here. But I do want to know what everybody's favorite house is. And you guys are going to have to be prepared because I believe that's what USopoly is doing for theirs as well. And the box sleeve on this is actually really nice because it has, like, the little map on it and stuff. But there we go. Ooh, the front looks so cute. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the front of this. Check that out. Doesn't that look nice? Oh my goodness. Let's get that out of here. I really like the front of this because it looks like very like a lo very old school looking box here. And this is by USAopoly as well as Steve Jackson Games, so get the best of both worlds. Ugh. You get to see my very un bad unboxing skills too, guys. So what do you guys think my house is? I don't know. Some of you might know me. Some of you might not. So thank you for anybody who's new and catching this feed. But what do you guys think my house is? We got lots. I've been seeing lots of Ravenclaws lately. I'm wondering if that's, I mean, I don't know which house is the most popular. I feel like Gryffindor would be the most popular because you know, because it's Gryffindor and you got to be super cool to be in Gryffindor and stuff. <laughs> but I've been seeing a ton of people that are Ravenclaw. So, ooh, that fresh box smell, guys. Here are your instructions right here. See if they have anything specific in here. Not seeing anything totally crazy. Now, this should play, for the most part, like Munchkin. So, if you've played any Munchkin game before, you should know what the general rules are to the game. I really like these pieces here. These are nice. I'm going to punch one of these out here. We got those under there. Oh, those little cardboard standees are super cute. So, two, four. This is a game for three to six players guys and if you guys have not purchased the deluxe copy of munchkin before that is the way to go deluxe munchkin <laughs> badger pride hufflepuff <laughs> you guys are killing me right now <laughs> oh look at the map on this okay so here's your level counter for the game and this is fantastic it's done like the little map from the movie. I'm trying to fit it all in there. Look at that. It has the little footprints on there. I hope you guys can see that. That's so freaking cute, guys. Oh, my goodness. And we got, so we got the board. We have tokens here. We have the standees for those, so they'll stand up for you guys. We got two decks of cards here. One is going to be a door card. One's going to be a treasure deck. We got, I want to see what the dice looks like. Oh, this dice is so cool, guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I feel like I need more room here. This dice has uh, Harry Potter on it. So usually in the Munchkin boxes, they have a dice that has Spike's little face on this. But this one actually has the Harry Potter. It's like Harry Potter themed dice. See? Look at that, guys. 
What else do we got here? House Hagrid. You can't have House Hagrid, guys. <laughs> yes, exactly. It looks like the Marauder's map. Isn't that so cool how they did that? I really like that. That's fantastic. It's heavily themed. And, you know, I didn't pull out these guys over here, too, which it looks like are some house cards there. So I'm going to open up this deck here, and you're actually going to skip to see some of these cards inside because I have a really sweet setup where hopefully you guys can get a really good view of them. If I can get this open. What else? We got... Has nobody guessed my my house yet? There's only four houses, guys. Like you could just you could just try some houses and I'll tell you yes or no. And then whenever you find out, you can be <gasps> I knew she was from that house. <laughs> All right. So this is we got some treasure cards here. We got some door cards there. There are some more treasure cards. I wonder why those ones are separate, kind of. Those ones there. After I open this one up, we will take a look at some of the other cards. The Nightmare Before Christmas Die is still the best. Ah, oh, why did you have to bring that up, Cheryl? That's a really good die. That's, I have to say, that's up there with me as well. Okay, so Gryffindor, Slytherin, 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 Slytherin. That's what I'm talking about right there, guys. <laughs> they are on to me. <laughs> yep, that's that's right, guys. I am House Slytherin, okay? Which, and so I went official. I went officially to the like Harry Potter site and took the test and everything and like got my little Patronus and everything. And so I am fully House Slytherin, like that's how it is. So let's take a look at some of the door cards here first. Door cards are going to be usually monsters, which I'm excited about. <laughs> oh, okay. You guys are going to love this. So level one, we have the Krabby and Goyle guys. Here we go. Let's get these out of the way here. I love this. They have the characters that you guys are fighting from it. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be fantastic. Yes, Team Slytherin, guys. I'm sorry, all you other people out there. <laughs> we have the Dursleys. Oh, my goodness. This is fantastic. Norbert. And then we have some other monsters, too, here. So we have, like, little mermaids and stuff like that that you're going to be fighting. Oh, these are fantastic. I was wondering how they were going to do the cards for this and if they were going to go all in on the monsters and making them actual people that were in there. And they have all of the pictures from the movies and everything. So that's fantastic. They're not, like... Uh, a hand-drawn thing or anything like their pictures from the movie on there of the people those are adorable oh scabbers why would you hurt him though oh no we have fluffy the little cerberus dog here so for those of you who might not know what munchkin is you are basically going to be going into this area and you are the hero in the game and these are going to be the guys that you're fighting to level up on this lovely little board here we have a common welsh okay so we have some of the little monsters that hagrid had Ooh, the hungarian horntail he is a cool looking card there and so as you're fighting these monsters you're going to get to go up levels and if people try to interfere with you and you fail to defeat the monster, then this bad stuff here at the bottom portion of the card is what happens. So this is very, very cool. Very thematic, guys. Yeah, no, this is an awesome set. We got a troll, werewolves, centaurs. Ooh, the Death Eaters. That's a cool-looking card. That one looks more... Uh, like the heavy artistic flair on that as opposed to just a picture from the movie as opposed to Draco Malfoy. Draco Malfoy is a 10. He's only a 10, guys. 
He's he's gonna be easy to beat. <laughs> He who shall not be named. We're going to see. Let's see here. We have Tom Riddle. So we're getting closer to he who should not be named in the deck. I'm assuming if that is the case, he's going to be up in the level 20 card. We're going to see here in a minute. Dolores Umbridge. Ooh, okay. So Lucas Malfoy, he's a level 14. We're getting up there. They get more evil on the way up. <laughs> the backs of the cards. You sure can. So this right here is going to be the door cards and I'll put one underneath the thing here for you. So we have a Dementor. I'll show you the Dementor right here. And then the back of these door cards looks like an actual little door here. So that one's really nice. And then the treasure cards will ha have an actual, it'll look like an actual little treasure box here. See, so they're pretty easy to differ differentiate between. And then this one has that greenish hue to it. And then the other one is going to have a purple hue to it. So sometimes I know if the cards are the same color, people will get confused and try to grab the wrong ones. But they're pretty clearly identifiable. Ooh. We're getting up there. She's a level 18, guys. So close. The troll, and there is a troll in the dungeon. We passed the troll card, so they're in there. <laughs> we have, and we have, finally, a level 20. He who shall not be named, Lord Voldemort. <laughs> okay. So it looks like here we also have rolls, which we have Quidditch roll here and a prefect roll. We have the head boy and head girl role. We have an inquisitor squad role. And then a dual role, which is going to let you do two at once on that. And there's only two of those cards in that deck. We have some wandering monster cards. What else do we hear? Oh, oh these are so cute. Okay, so your plus two monsters in combat here, they have like the little like wizardly names up here like you would like you would say it oh, so cute guys oh I love this set so much I feel like if you're a huge Harry Potter fan like this is a no-brainer for you because the theme on this is so awesome oh, I'm so excited and then these are gonna be some of your one shots here like curses and stuff like that that are gonna happen these are really cool themed cards guys Lose a hand item, Exper Expelleramus. Ugh. Cannot say that, Expelleramus. But lose a hand item, that makes perfect sense. See, they did such a good job. He just knocked it out of his hand. And this is not on Kickstarter. This um, is going to be something that you can purchase at your friendly local game store and stuff. So it should be available sometime this month, guys. And this is just the door cards. We haven't even gotten to the cool treasures that we can equip ourselves with, right? What else do we have in here? Okay, so we have some proficiency ranks. Okay, so the proficiency ranks here, it looks like they're probably going to act like, like spells. So where you have to be a certain level to obtain these. So if you're a rank one, you need to be at least a level one or higher. That's what it looks like because we have proficiency rank one and proficiency rank two, like in herbology. And then that's going to give you a bonus if, oh, if, so an extra plus two if there are any living plants in the room. Oh, I love it when they do that with the cards. So this one here actually applies to your surroundings. If you have plants in the room, it's going to give you extra bonuses on that. Can you equip Haggard as a follower? I don't know. We, well, we, when we get to the treasure deck, it should be in there. We'll have to see. What else do we have? We have, oh, potions. So you can have a proficiency in potions. And that's going to give you a plus four bonuses right there. And you can have multiple proficiencies. So if you're a, a level four, you should be able to have like a level one proficiency as well as a level three proficiency. And you can kind of stack those as you get, you know, uh, more like more of a veteran 
uh, with using spells and stuff like that, you can collect more spells to use as you're going, which is really cool. We got some cheat cards with Draco Malfoy on them. Of course, he would be a little cheaty. He would just be a tiny bit cheaty. Let's see. We got a curse, a Dementor's Kiss. Lose two levels. Ouch. Might be a problem for some people. <laughs> Having living plants in your house? Maybe. <laughs> Is there a monster in there based on that? Yeah, we got that one. We got He Who Shall Not Be Named. We got some more proficiency ranks in astronomy and quidditch. All right, let's move on to these super cool cards right here, which are going to be our treasure cards. These are going to be a lot of cards that you're going to equip yourself with, make yourself bigger, stronger. Scoot all these up here. We have, oh, okay, and we have allies too, guys. Okay, so this is cool. So allies are going to work, I believe, the same as probably like a hireling in this, where you can only have one out unless there's something specific, uh, a specific card or something else specific in the rules that I don't know of. Yep, MSRP on this game is $34.95. Thank you so much, Jimmy. And this is a game for three to six players. So you have everything you need in this box to play. You know, you have your dice, all of your cards. You got these cute little standees and stuff like that that are going to track you around the board and stuff as you go. So we have Harry Potter, of course, as an ally there. Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, Luna Lovegood. You know, I always really liked Luna Lovegood. Like, she was one of my favorites. She's, like, just so silly, you know? What else? There we go. We'll put Luna under there. We got Neville, Ginny. Oh, here's Haggard. Yep. Okay. So, yes, Derek, you can have Haggard as an ally fighting next to you. Okay. Question answered. Check. <laughs> we have Dumbledore and Remus. Oh, they have a lot of allies in here. You're getting quite a few of these ally cards here. Let's see. Hello, Bruce. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Now, if you guys didn't know, USAopoly is actually doing a giveaway. And I believe I just saw it pop up on Twitter. They're going to be giving away a copy of the game as well as some super awesome bookmarks that if you don't know about the bookmarks for these games, you can get a bookmark and you can use it as a bookmark. Or if you turn it around and on the back of it, it has special abilities that you can use during the game. So they're giving those away, and that's fantastic. I can't wait to go down to BGG and hopefully pick up some of those, you know? We got so many. Oh, here's Cedric. I know some of the ladies will be real excited about that right there, <laughs> being in the deck. <laughs> uh, we have Dobie, the house elf, Sirius Black. Okay, and then we have some items that you're going to be equipping and stuff. We got, we have uh, the little golden snitch here. This golden snitch is really cute. So all of the art for the actual people in the movies look like they are just pictures of those people, which is really cool. And then it seems like a lot of these cards here have like more of the artistic flair on it instead of an actual picture from the movie is what it looks like. We have a Hogwarts history book, advanced potion making, a golden egg, a monster book of monsters. That was the best. <laughs> that was the best in the movie when he opened that book and couldn't get it shut. That was fantastic. Golden snitch was Dr. Glory Hog's nickname in high school. I'm going to call shenanigans on that. I believe Dr. Glory Hog is older than that. <laughs> and yes, and the giveaway should also be on Facebook, Christopher. You're right. I believe it's just USopoly. You just need to go over to that site and then figure out uh, what their giveaway is. I think it should be, though, just right on top there. It shouldn't be buried or anything on either Twitter or on Facebook. But I know that they did just post it because I was waiting for it. I was hoping that the, it would post while I was doing this so you guys can, like, go there and, you know, try to get yourself some bookmarks and s cool stuff, you know? Yep, Cedric, yeah. <laughs> 
So we have a beaded bag. We have an elder wand. Oh, they, okay, these ones are cool. So cool. And there's your elder wand there. And we have the time turner. So you may discard this card when you are up to no good to fight the topmost monster in the door discards instead of playing one from your hand. I love how they really tie in the rules to the theme of the object, you know, because that made you go back in time. So being able to pull out that monster in the deck is perfect for that. And I love whenever games do that. It's so exciting. We have Tales of the Beetle Bard. We have a mysterious diary. Hmm. <laughs> It says, discard this card to automatically defeat Tom Riddle. That makes sense. <laughs> Christmas Eve game opening. This would make a great Christmas or, you know, like that you or the winter holiday gift, you know, especially because I know that a lot of places do the Hogwarts Yule. You know, I know in my area they have an event that you can follow and do a Hogwarts Yule where everybody comes dressed up and everything. So being able to play this game at something like that would be amazing. <laughs> yes, Hagrid, Cedred, Doby, like, it's fantastic. Let's see here. We have Gaunt's Ring. Oh, and we have Hedwig. He's so cute. We have a Basilisk Fang. A cauldron. We got lots of stuff. I like how they have here. So this is a one-handed item right here. So it only takes one hand to use it. So you could have two of these out to give you the bonus here. However, if you are using a two-handed item like this here, well, you only have two hands. So you are you can only use this item instead. So you really got to figure out what bonuses you're going to use with how many hands and stuff that you have. Because you should be only be able to have two hands worth of items, one headpiece, one uh, like armor piece or clothing piece, one pair of boots, and then like unlimited everything else as you're equipping yourself for your wizardly battles, guys. <laughs> All right. Yep, the best, it would be the best gift, it would. We have the crystal ball, we have the sword of Gryffindor. Okay, so here we have the distinction of that armor piece that I was talking about. For example, we have school robes right here. So you can only equip one of these school robes at a time, but you definitely want to check out the bonuses and what they're going to give you for those. But we have some dress robes. Oh, those are fancy. These are fancy robes, guys. Those are really fancy. We have some Quidditch robes. You get an extra plus two if you have Clean Sweep, Firebolt, or the Nimbus equipped. That's fantastic. An invisibility cloak, a Christmas sweater. Here you go. <laughs> Check out that fantastic Christmas sweater there, guys. And then we have some sweet brooms. Okay, so it looks like the brooms here, which we got three brooms in this deck. We have the Firebolt, the Queen, Queen Sweep 11, and then the Nimbus 2001. And these are apparently foot gear items. So you can only have one of these equipped at a time for your foot gear on that. And we're going to do the Nimbus here so you can see that. We have, okay, the headpiece option here are going to have little witch hats on them or little wizard hats on them. And we have little spectacles and a lion hat. The lion hat is very cute. And we have a little sorting hat. We have a locket. And then like a little tiara here. What else do we have? Okay, and then the one-shot items. So one-shot items are designated as items that you can keep in your hand or you can keep them in your backpack out on the table. But once you actually put them into combat or you use them, then after that they get discarded. But... They're usually pretty powerful. Yes, unless you do some sort of cheat, which I haven't seen any cheats that I've come across just yet, Bruce. So that would be if you you can wear whatever the heck you want if you're cheating, okay? We have, let's see here, play on another player's turn. And again, these have like the little wizardly ling lingo down here on the bottom. 
So cute. Oh my goodness. Wingardium Levulosa. We have plus two to either side. They did a fantastic job on the theme on this, guys. This is amazing. Reparo, plus three to either side. Expecto Patronum. This is a plus six to either side on that one. And then we have, ooh, we have Butterbeer. Have you ever seen those Butterbeer recipes online? Those things, just reading about those things, like, sound amazing. I just need more Butterbeer in my life, guys. Let's see. We have Chocolate Frogs. We got Chocolate Frogs. And then the most terrible of all candies, those every, every flavor jelly beans. I know that they have some of these out that you can buy. I don't know if it's just during the holidays, but guys, be warned, they do not taste very good. <laughs> it never fails I get one of those, and it's like the first one that I like taste is the worst tasting one. I get like the vomit flavored one right away. I was like, thanks guys, now I just don't want any of these anymore, okay? <laughs> We have a Remember Ball and the Polyjuice Potion. You may create an exact duplicate who fights beside you, so you double your combat strength. You must be the only player in combat. Oh, that's a really good one, too. Those are fantastic cards. So here we have, ooh, we have Steal a Level, Detention. Ouch. That's harsh. <laughs> We have a Hogsmeade Village. These are go up a level cards where you can just go up one of these little portions on this board here. Little wizard cups for House Hogwarts and stuff. A mirror, which is going to give you plus three. These are some more one shots. Okay, so I want to... Ooh, the Fox the Phoenix. He's cute. I want to open up this other thing of cards right here too. Which, don't forget about those. So, okay, so these are more go-up-a-level cards there. There are those guys. And then hopefully I will be able to open these up for relatively easy. And it looks like these are going to be different houses. This would be fantastic. You can pick your own little house like this. When in combat with a monster level 10 or higher, draw one extra face down treasure card after defeating the monster. So these are going to be specific house cards here. Like that. They're pretty big. So you're going to have this out in front of you as you play. And then you're going to get to equip yourself with robes and everything else that you might have. And your role, you know, you could be on the Quidditch team and then you could be in Gryffindor. And you could have your invisib invisibility cloak on and stuff like that. And that's how you're going to out your outfit yourself as you're playing the game. It looks like we have three of the Gryffindor. Oh, okay, so they're double-sided. That's cool. I was like, oh my gosh, are they not going to have enough? But it looks like these guys are double-sided. So here we have some Gryffindor ones. And I'll show you kind of the art on those. There are the three different Gryffindors. And on the other side here, we have some Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw on that. And it looks like with Ravenclaw, one shots with a combat bonus are worth one extra. Hufflepuff is you may have an additional ally, and each ally you have is worth one extra. Aw, that's the sweetest, guys. All the Hufflepuffs get extra friends. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. <laughs> you absolutely could, Jordan. You could absolutely combine this with Spell School and that would be fantastic. Every Munchkin game, you can add in any other Munchkin game and they're all going to sh share the same base rules so you can play them together in a very large expanded set if you wanted to. Yeah, so the possibilities with those are endless on what you want to add to your game. Here's some of the other art for these ones here. We have some more Slytherin and the Hufflepuff. I love that one right there. Aww. This has been a really cute set to open, guys. And this dice is just amazing. I love this dice here. The whole the whole thing, really. I mean, with 
the board looking like the little map and stuff and then integrating everybody's uh, characters into the game and stuff. This was fantastic. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to us, okay? If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll go back to them later and try to answer anything that didn't get answered. Um, if you guys want to head on over to US USAopoly and join their giveaway, you can hopefully get some sweet bookmarks and possibly a game because I believe they're giving away a game and some bookmarks and then some bookmarks to people and stuff. If you don't get a chance to get bookmarks in the game, uh, you can go out to your friendly local game store and try to get that later this month, okay? You can pick pick up the game later this month and see if they have any bookmarks. And of course, if you are going to PAX Unplugged or BGG Con, I know that Steve Jackson, USAopoly are going to have presences in those places. So you can always ask them if they have any items like the bookmarks or anything, or even just to take a look at the set in person, because I know I did show it off here, but seeing it in person is also a little different as well. Okay, guys? So. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will be at BGG Con for the rest of the week, so I will probably do something on Thursday, but it will be live, so I can't promise you how great it's gonna be because sometimes reception does get a little spotty. And next week, next week, I'm going to be showing you guys the new Munchkin Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set, which I am also super excited about because Man, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was my jam back in the day, okay? I mean, who's what, that, who didn't like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? You know, I watched all the new Nickelodeon ones and stuff too. Like, that show is fantastic. So, yes, Steve Jackson will not be at BGG Con, but they will be at PAX Unplugged. I know that USAopoly will be at BGG Con, and I'm assuming they will also be at PAX Unplugged although I am not 100% for sure on that. And again, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Leave lots of comments. If you have any questions, we'll answer those, and we will see you guys all later in the week. Thank you so much for joining me today.